Hey, Rudy. Jack, what are you doing here? Come on, man. We think alike. We do alike things. Yeah, I know that one. But in all honesty, usually I uh, come out here before I do a hit. You do? Yeah. It uh, calms me to look at the placid water. I enjoy something calm before I have to do something rough, you know? Yeah, I hear that one. Yeah, I come here after, too. I come here before the hit and after the hit. It makes it easier when thinking about taking a life. I pray for them as well, of course. Yeah, unless it's some piece of shit that needed it. You know, I never thought of it that way. I suppose next time I trigger on somebody, I should try the same thing. It just seems so... It's a lot more, you know, soothing and subtle, you know? Yeah, I enjoy it. Plus, it's a relief from that bitch at home. <laughs> uh, it prevents you from wanting to pull the trigger on her, too, you know? <laughs> yeah, I hear you. <sighs> hey, do you remember the hit we did on Jimmy the Giant, Pete Langley? Oh, God, why do you have to bring that up? That was the worst night of my life. What are you talking about, Jack? We're definitely at the point to where we can look back and laugh at that. No way. I will forever hold a grudge against it. That taught me to never do a hit in new shoes. <laughs> that motherfucker got blood all over your shoes. I guess, I guess it was pretty funny. It really was. It took all night to bury those guys. You remember that night? Yeah. God, that ground was rock hard. Oh my God. It was a night like this. It was. It was, it was, it was really cold out. And, you know, the whole nine yards. We were practically using those shovels as pogo sticks. Do you remember that? Exactly. That's how hard the ground was. I remember, Jack. What are you doing? What are you talking about? You're young. And, and you've done so many bad things. Such as things that, like, we've done. Do, do you want this life? You're... You can change this. Jesus Christ, you sound like my father. Can you blame me? Why don't you just go? Start over, go somewhere. Start a new life. Go anywhere you want to go. I've got connections. I can help you. Like, just find a house. Find a wife. Do her. Make a baby. And get a, get a job, a real job. If I go somewhere under your connections, then I would cease to be starting this new clean life that you're talking about. Listen, man, I didn't mean it like that. I, I just meant somewhere for you to go. I know this market, I can find you a house just like that. Jack, I appreciate your concern, but this life has been nothing but good to me. I don't need anything else. You know, and, and who are you to tell me what to do anyway? Are you my superior? You don't look like that. So you don't need to be telling me things like that, all right? How long have we been best friends for? Since you were knee high and I was ankle high. Exactly. I'm not telling you as a superior. I'm telling you as your best friend. Just go, get out of here. Don't tell anyone you were here. Why are you so concerned about this all of a sudden? Rudy, I mean, just please, just do this for me and for you. I can't do it. All right, I love this too much. And even if I were to just get up and go, they're gonna find me and kill me anyway. Rudy, for Christ's sake, I'm giving you the pass now. Just take it. Jack, 
I appreciate your concern and everything. But I love this too much to give it up. Alright. I'm gonna be doing this until I'm one of those guys in those woods somewhere, someday. And the sooner that you accept that, the easier it's gonna be. Yeah. Just do it.